Yo, what's good, you two? Uh, I just want to make a little video real quick. Just snorkeled the bike. Uh, I think it came out pretty sweet, man. Uh, pretty simple to do. You got to reroute some stuff like the crank and all that. But uh, I like it. I think it came out nice. Uh, let me show y'all. So what I ended up doing is this is a metal. This is metal right here. This is a uh, exhaust repair kit. It's flexible, you can flex it either way you want. I just gotta kinda of point it straight up a little bit. There's a spot hose right here. That's for the car. Keep all the shit out of it. This is temporary right now, I think. Uh I don't know. I just I just can't make myself cut a hole in this thing yet. We'll see down the line. But as of right now, this is how it's gonna be. It's nice. I like it. You can't even see it. It's the only part you see right there is the part where I have it wrapped from the head. If you see that right there. I like to keep this right here and I like to use this clear line so I can see my gas. Just to make sure it's freaking not all nasty and shit. I'm gonna put a little bit more heat tape, uh, heat tape on here just because that thing's really freaking close to that thing. Like I can't even put my finger in there. So I put another wrap of that. But I mean from a distance you can't even see it. All you see is this. I might uh, make this black, try to find some black tape. But uh, let me show y'all how I did the crank. So the crank hose, this is the crank right here. Just a little zoom in. Right there, that's the crank. What I did was I bought some 5 8 heater hose. Ran it. You can see it right there. It runs right there and then I loop it and I go into the air box. I drilled a, a hole a little bit smaller than five eighths. Got to try to like work it in there and then silicone it, let it sit for overnight. And she's freaking, she's ready. Got the diff ran, front diff ran, no brakes. It didn't run that shit. I mean, Brakes gonna get water in it, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, so yeah, we got front diff, rear diff, carb overflow is right here. There's the overflow line. I got a uh, a check valve coming in for that. I'm gonna run two check valves on it just to be sure, because if one fails, you don't want to be in the water. And this. I have a ride coming up this weekend, so I think I'm gonna just keep this like this. I heard you can just turn it off and do it like that. Turn that on real quick. Yeah, I heard you can turn that off whenever you go in water, but you don't wanna do that because it could, whatever, I don't even know, but I'm gonna run the barb on that eventually. Probably next weekend after the ride, but this should be all right like that. We'll see. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I like the metal pipe, man. I think it sets it off. Will be going on this week. 29 and a half sassy, so stay tuned for that. And like I said in the last video, we'll be going to Zona. Crank it up for you real quick. slow but it's hard to cover up that whole freaking metal thing thing and cut the shit out of you but yeah that's it make sure to leave a like and stay tuned for the next one baby